Hello, my name is Ralph and welcome back to the channel. It's my time, let's go. Today we're going to start putting the top end on this uh, pitch black Evo motor and everything seems to be going along okay. So we're going to take you along with us today as we install the manifold and get the top end rocker boxes on and we might get the push rods and stuff in, I'm not quite sure today, but we'll work along and see how far we can get. So come along with us and uh, let's get at it. So we're going to get ready to put our head bolts in today and what we got to do is squirt a little bit of oil in each one and around the surface of the head bolt. This surface area here needs to be oiled up just lightly and oil inside. We'll just tap out any excess oil inside so it doesn't hydraulic lock so to speak on it. By doing the base this side of it here this keeps it nice and smooth when you go to torque it and uh, where these were painted uh, we've gone along and actually taken out all the paint out of that area um, so it's just up against the aluminum it's not up against the paint at all again it just helps make the, uh, the torque a lot more true Okay, so now we're going to go along and we're going to torque these at seven to nine pounds to start with. Start on the front head here on this side. And follow the torquing sequence laid out in the manual. One, two, three, four, and this one we start back here. One, two, three, and four. Then we set it up and we do the same sequence again at 12 to 14 pounds. Turn One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Just one sort of interesting note when we're doing cylinder studs. Uh, lots of times you got parts laying around and you're trying to build them out of different things. Um, these head bolts, which come chromed or all different sorts of things, if you have an original set of these and it says CP on the top of them right in here, it will have it. CP. Those bolts were soft and they should not be re reused. Um, lots of times people will reuse those bolts uh, and they're fixing their cylinder base gaskets leaking and then not too long from there uh, their cylinder base gaskets are leaking again. Uh, those particular bolts with the CP on them uh, were very soft and should have been replaced each time they've taken them off after they've been torqued as they uh, they were inclined to stretch. So be sure and check the tops of these if you're if you're replacing them or using old ones uh, into an engine rebuild. All right, good little tip. So the next thing, according to the manual, is to put your wrench in and pull it a full 90 degrees around. So they suggest that you can mark the head bolts and put a little mark on it so you can see that you've turned it 90 degrees. Here where we're on the motor stand it makes it easy for me to go along and just do 90 degrees. So we're going to start with the front one. Set there and we'll go on. That should be setting them up to about 42 pounds, and that's where I like to see them. There we go, 42 pounds. That's the way I like them, so. Now we're gonna go along and uh, probably put the intake on now, because uh, it's easy to get at. Oh, well, we're gonna start by putting some Allen screws in the bottom here first. We can fit our manifold up to them.
Got our, our little rubber O-rings. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on those so that they'll seat up a little better. Now these are S&S ones that we're putting on and they're marked front and rear so that you can't get them mixed up. So we've got our beautiful black powder coated manifold here and put the front one on and we put these in with the taper facing in so that they fit into the, into the clamp. Do the same with our rear facing in the taper. Okay, just double checking. Now these should go right down in there and fit on the bolts that we just have barely started on there. Leave them out as far as we can. Okay, we're in there. There, we just take our little manifold wrench that's made specifically for that. It's got a ball end on this end, so it's, it's easier to, to get in there. And we're just gonna snug those up because once we put the carburetor on, then we'll match it up to the manifold, to the straightness here. And we're able to move it around a little bit. There, well, that'll be good until we, until we go to set the carb up and we, and we can get it all straight in there. But our beautiful black intake manifold is, uh, is in there. Okay, so now we're gonna get to putting the rocker boxes on and uh, this, with this jet black motor, we're gonna try something a little bit different that we haven't done before. Um, and that's use a set of uh, 1200 Sportster uh, top end pieces instead of the uh, square boxes like on the tops of the Evos. Uh, not only will they be black and they're powder coated, uh, but they also add a nice smooth look to the top and uh, give it a different kind of look. So we're going to start installing those today. So we're going to use the uh, Sportster gaskets, uh, which will fit perfectly on here. No problem at all. Put these in and we're just going to stick some of the auger bolts in through. Try to get the gasket in place. All right, so we've got those in. Now we're gonna put our small ones in. for the outsides. It's lined up nicely there. Okay, I and mean, they say 120 to 150 inch pounds. So I'm about 130 here. 35. I think I've got a couple of them that are a little short, so we're going to have to uh, give myself a couple longer Allens. So now we'll try to, try to 
Got to work on our rocker arms. Got these marks so I know which ones were which and so that they go into the same places they came out of. We'll just have to take these out for the moment. Nope, I want to line our, line our groove up here. There's a small groove in it and that's for our bolt. So try to get that straight up. No problem. We need our exhaust one. The rear exhaust, as we had it marked. Again, we want to keep the slot here, sort of in line. Good. Might as well get our other ones while we're here. Okay, got a problem with a couple of these bolts. I'm gonna have to get some, some longer ones for these. Because the uh, Sportster ones have a taller, taller tower. And these are just gonna go in there and strip. So now we're gonna do these in a, in a crisscross pattern, 15 to 18 pounds. Snug them up here. I like to put some engine lube right on the tips of the valves. Just give them a chance and start it up. And we'll put some oil on our valve springs here. lube you can have it start up the better. Okay the breather hole is up here in these and uh, there's a small umbrella valve that goes on here and that has to be up on the breather hole side like so. We get that. Go the other way, sometimes these can be a little bit fussy to get in there. And never forget your center one that goes in there. It's an easy mistake to make. I've done it myself over the past years and then you start it up and oil <laughs> pours out this area so all right we're looking pretty good there Again, the rubber umbrella valve up to this side on this one.
And again, your centerpiece. Okay. Next we'll put our, our little screws in. Get the uh, chrome one up top, then the brass one, and then a little fiber one underneath. Okay, now we try to get the, the best fit we can between them. And now we'll do the top bolts here, uh, 120 to 156 inch pounds they say, so uh, I'm about 100, 130 here. Just go around and evenly bring them down. There. there we go so we get together the parts that we need it's like I need this insulator block I must have stole it out of the kit before We are gonna, we're gonna need that. Those will go in. These are shims to set our spacing out so that we don't crush the thing out or bend it or anything like that. So SNS has a great selection of steel shims here that we can use. Quite enough. Okay, those are for up in the rocker boxes. Now, so we'll just try to get them started on here. How much we got here? I don't know if these are going to be long enough or not. Not really. So I am going to need some 3 8 bolts that are longer. All right, let's see what I can find. So I will need some longer ones. So the rubber o-ring one will go in here and this will enable us to at least bolt it up and set our spacing for the mount. Seems like projects always start with one thing in mind and I had this nice jet black carburetor that I had ordered for another project that I didn't quite get to. But I knew the day would come when it would be proper for what I need and fit onto the appropriate project, which is, is what I'm at now. There we go, got us in place. So we set this up today and we're going to use our carb gasket because that does, you know, set things out and add a couple thou. You don't want it to be under any undue stress. Okay, let's see how that fits. Okay, just lightly put one in here, lightly. Just enough to 
barely hold it. Well, we leave the carburetor loose so we can fit these. Looks like we've got to go in a little bit more. All right. That looks to be the uh, right amount where we want to put it. It almost shim off I think but I don't think so I think these are just about right so now we'll get our now we'll get our little tool here and we're going to tighten the manifold up so that the carburetor stays right where it should be there All right, I'm almost thinking that I could probably take one shim out, or just out, like the space of a shim. I think we'll take this off. Let's see if I can take one shim out of each one, and if this will move the backing plate uh, back in there just a little bit farther now that everything's snugged up. Sometimes these things take a little bit of friggin' around to get them just right, but eliminating stress on any of the components is well worth it. Take the thin one out. Thin one out. Okay, Let's see where we'll go now. Looks like we're still not quite in where we want to have it. I may have to loosen the manifold up again. We're not tightening it in the back either. I'm gonna have to loosen the whole kit and caboodle up. Just enough to Move the carburetor up just a little bit. It's well worth the effort just to take your time to get things in place. You tighten something in under stress, chances are it's going to break on you down the road for the little bit of time that it takes to readjust. Uh, it's well worth it. See, we're just down on this flange ever so little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get my other little screw. All right, so we know that those are going to be right. Those are going to fit okay. Let's 
So that's looking pretty good, I would say. So we got a few things to do yet, but I wanted to fit this up and make sure that it all fits okay. Um, we're gonna have to take this off, put a cam seal in, uh, then time it, then put our ignition in it, and we've got our push rod covers to go up in here, uh, which are all black. So I just have to decide whether I wanna go all black, or I got a little set of skulls that I could put on there, uh, just for shits and giggles. But uh, either way, they'll, uh, they should look okay in there. So I'm looking forward to that. So we're getting there piece by piece. We've got to get the little screws for here. I got to round up these and uh, you know, some fittings and such. Little bits to go yet. So if you enjoyed this video today, like, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified. Uh, it helps our channel to grow and uh, we appreciate it very much. I'm not just saying that, I actually appreciate it. So please do subscribe and share it with your friends and get them to subscribe. And hopefully we can bring you some information that's entertaining and informative at the same time.